Good morning, Christopher L. here. <laughs> I want to talk a little bit more about sin. Um, there's a lady commenting on the latest video who basically says I'm sending people to hell because I've made videos saying I find sin in my life all the time, every day. Um, she says that, you know, the natural things, he who sins can't be a child of God, and I understand that whole line of thought. But... I believe what John was talking about, seriously, is living a life of sin, meaning in an intentional, uh, blasphemous nature. You know, what I'm talking about in my life is not a lifestyle, it's not a deliberate choice, it's that I stumble across things. Now, I don't think I did a very good job of explaining this, because it's caused a lot of upset for this lady, so in brief, I want to read a comment, uh, interaction, and then discuss a little bit of what was actually said there. Um, her name is Special Kenag One, uh, Special K Anna G One. I'm not sure how it breaks down, but anyways, she writes, Christopher, the Bible said to be like Jesus. Did he sin? I think I have given enough proof that you are wrong. Your theology is putting people in hell. In response to her, I wrote, Jesus said, be perfect like our Father in heaven. Ask yourself, how are you doing with that? Jesus asked Peter and the two sons of Zebedee to stay awake and pray. Yet they fell asleep. Jesus returned and asked them again to stay awake and pray. And yeah, they fell asleep again. Mark says it was because their eyes were heavy. This is the flesh, okay? And while sleeping in itself is not a sin, doing it at that time was in direct violation of the words of Christ. These are the kinds of sins I am working on at this point in my walk with Jesus. Does this make me any less saved than one such as yourself, who has overcome all sin through the Holy Spirit? I don't think so. Does calling out this inbred weakness of the flesh send people to hell? No. Sin alone doesn't send people to hell. Sin and the refusal of Christ sends people to hell. I believe you believe you're sin free and ignorance is bliss. So may peace be with you. God bless you. Now I'm serious there. I mean, do you Christians who say that you do not sin, amen. I cannot wait to mature to that status. I can't wait to be that grown up in the spirit. But like Peter falling asleep when he was asked to pray, and really having no conscious decision about it, it appears that his body was so physically fatigued that he simply could not stay awake in prayer. I've done that myself before, you know. You just close your eyes and, and you're praying, and then all of a sudden you find yourself drifting off a little bit. I can see how that could happen. And yet that is a sin. Jesus told him to stay awake. And yet we know Peter was loved. And we know that Peter was blessed. So if I look at my brother Peter, and I see the struggle, and yet Jesus loved him so. And I know that if Peter had one-on-one -on -one contact with Jesus, and he struggled... I know that the Lord has enough compassion to deal with my struggles. Yes, I have a one-on-one -on -one relationship with Jesus, but the disciples had a physical one-on-one -on -one relationship with Jesus. We can kid ourselves how we want, but that had to have been one wonderful time. <laughs> uh, I'm not envying my brothers. I just look back and I think, wow the joy that the world must have expressed every time the Lord just walked in. But I digress. This is really me commenting to people who are upset um, because they don't believe they sin anymore. And like I said, if you don't sin, if you believe that, then God bless you. And uh, I look forward to getting there myself. 
But until such time, I am like a soldier in the trenches. Uh, I'm wearing the armor of God, and I'm doing the best I can through Jesus Christ. Now, I can't share everything that's happening in my life with you guys, but I can tell you the Lord is moving in huge ways in our life right now. I believe part of that is because of my obedience to talk about things such as the topic of sin on YouTube. I think Jesus wants us to wake up and realize that there is sin free. Yes, it's true. I don't sin anymore. I don't go out and drink and I don't abuse and I don't cuss and I don't uh, cheat and I don't lie. Absolutely, I don't sin anymore. And yet there are times when I know that he has told me to pray and I find myself sleeping through the moment. And I don't know about you, but I would count that as a sin. I know he's just to forgive. I know he's faithful and graceful. And I know that he knows that I don't mean to be asleep when he tells me to be awake. But that is part of the curse of the flesh. Yeah, these are holy temples. This is where the Holy Spirit's dwelling. But it is what it is while it is what it is. Until next time, happy Jesus Day. God bless and peace out.